troops, welcome back to the Latana Army. I'm Litz and this is Fortnite Save the World. And what I want to check out today is comparing four player missions against the encampment missions in terms of farming. So that sounds quite complicated, but it's really not. What I've been doing is I spent one hour this morning doing four player missions. Now I only got two four player missions done. It took about an hour and 15 minutes. Once we were people are done with the farming and everything else and done with the messing around like they do in the four player missions, it took about an hour and 15 minutes to complete two. Now I also did the encampment missions, which now that they finish earlier, because they don't like leave the timer running to the end. Once you've done the last super encampment, the mission kind of closes off, which means you can do missions really, really quick. The fastest encampment mission that I did this morning took about seven and a half minutes. And that was only because what happened was is uh, I joined the mission after they'd done the first two encampments. So because I joined like late on and we did the encampments quite quickly, it just meant that we got around them super fast and I got all the loot that you normally get from the mission just by being in there, which was absolutely fantastic. So what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna run an encampment mission just to show you guys. And then what we're gonna do after that is I'm gonna show you a comparison of the loot between the four player loot that I got in the first hour and then also the encampment loot that I got after an hour as well. So I like an hour's worth of loot from both types of quests. It's quite interesting as well what the outcome was. So stay tuned and let's just jump into encampment mission and I'll show you how quick you can do these now. Okay then, so we've got the first beam of light there. That's what you want to look for to get the encampments. First three encampments are usually super easy and more than soloable. We're using uh, the Shamrock Reclaimer just because for encampments, one of my favorite heroes because we can just put the little zap thing down and we can put the bear down and you've pretty much done your first, <laughs> first three encampments that way. Super fast, super easy. There we go. The next encampment might be stronger. Make sure your weapons and ammo are ready to go. Now, if you want to find the next encampment, then you got Beam of Light right there. So that's all we do. So we're going to run over to that as well. Okay, other good people for this as well. People like Dragon Scorch are good. Do you know, so if you take like a Dragon Scorch, Master Grenadier Ramirez, great for this. Anyone like that, always fantastic. Even First Shot Rio is good for these as well. But look how quick you can do these. Super, super fast. And if you look at the Reclaimer, what's great is... <laughs> His shock tower comes up so quickly. All right, we're done. Moving on. Do you know what? Look at that. Look at that. I'm that guy. Yeah, that's me. <laughs> All right, let's move on. Where were we? Look, I don't get the point of these, like, weird cowboy hero things, look. Like, there's no point going after him. There's, like, some sort of cowboy boss there. If he dropped something cool, that'd be worth it. I just don't understand... Take what is there for? Maybe you guys know something I don't. Okay, so here we are then. Round three. Fight. Round three. Let's go. I'm at the lowest level in here. I'm still going for a good combat score. I'll probably not beat that Jess because she's uh, she's like the ultimate hero for this kind of thing. And she's a higher level. There's nothing to shoot. <laughs> but this is how fast. Look, I'm using up next to no mats here. All right, where's the next one? Let's look around. Okay, it's just a quick distraction of a smasher. Easily fixed. There it is. Yeah, you gotta go, and you gotta go. All right, so where's the next one? So we now know the next one's over here. They're already there, they're so fast. I can't get the top combat score <laughs> if you're gonna run to each encampment. Oh, we got a smasher though, so that's fun. All right, so let's put the tower down. Get the bee dude, wrong gun. Put the bear down. Put the bear down. There we go. Easy. This is way under our level, by the way, so it's gonna be easy. It's gonna be easy. If I can't. I can't leave mechanical parts. I just can't. <laughs> All right. So we get back to the middle ish of the map, and let's have a look what we can find there. Oh, it's over there. Look, I can see it in the distance. So let's go and get that then. But yeah, you can get these like done really, really fast. Uh, if you start the mission like halfway through, which sometimes you can do if you just join a mission, then you're going to get these done in no time at all. That's going to take me off my hoverboard. God damn you. All right. Get that encampment. So we'll put the zapper, Zapparoo down. We've got one minute on the bear. Bear is up. I've got zero fragments on these things, but that don't matter. That's fine. <laughs> Two bears and shock towers. This is what encampments are all about. Bees. It's all right. I'll save you, double agent. I'll save you. May as well reload. Everything's dead. So we should have another wave coming any minute now. Here they come. 
So there we go. Shock tower down. I mean, you can even anti-material charge your way through some of them if you want. But these are just so easy. Yeah, that's right. I'm hip firing. Okay, done. Alright, so next one then. Oh, it's over there. Okay, I mean, what you might find on encampments sometimes is some people are quite happy to let you solo the first three encampments. Like, they won't even try until it's ready for encampment four. So, not everyone's going to want to speed through these missions. So, you either you know, need to let people know at the beginning that you're in some sort of rush, if that's what you want to do. Or take out the first three encampments yourself, which you can easily do at any level. Uh, and then take it from there. So, here we go. There it is. Yes, I'm here on time this time. Okay, so let's drop this one down. So there it is. We'll put a bear down. Bear on the bridge. Alright, good. So that should be quite straightforward, I think. Reload. Just be I love this auto pickup now. Much, much better. Alright, and we're gonna get this uh, we're gonna get this back in a minute. We've got the turrets as well. May as well utilize them while we've got them. Shock tower's back. <laughs> That's not the shock tower button. Alright. Look at that shock tower though. So powerful. There we go. Right, let's go for another. Oh. Can't leave that, can we? Because we need fibrous herbs to make traps. <laughs> the gas traps take about 25,000 of those to make one. <laughs> Alright, here we go. But I try and pick them up whenever I walk past them. Unless I'm recording like now, then maybe not so much. All right, let's go. Here we go. Let's do this. Yeah. That's one. Take it down. Shot, shot tower in then, nice and early. Get a bear in as well. Yeah, and we've got this. So deadly. <laughs> All right, good. They are a lot of fun as well. I think it's the quick. There's no like, there's no like stress to these missions. Mind you, I don't really get stressed about much in life. To be fair. But there's no kind of urgency to these. Just kind of nice. I usually use first shot Rio when I'm doing these. I'm just using the reclaimer to just kind of look good in front of you guys. Because <laughs> I'm being recorded. You know, you got to look good in front of the guys, right? Here we go. Here we go. There we go. Get off. All right. Good. Near death experience. All right, how many more have we got? One more super encampment, I think. Check out your map. Oh, it's right there. It's almost not worth getting on the hoverboard for. Oh, it is. Okay, it's further away than what I thought. Oh, look at this. I'll race her. Let's see if we can win. She's not actually racing me, but I'm racing her. Oh, damn it. She wins. I need the jukebox. God damn it. I couldn't get out of it. <laughs> That's for the Canny Valley story. Okay, Beatbot. Listen to those drums until you become the music. Become the music. Here we go. You know what to do. I do. Oh, that's just Shock Tower Paradise. Oh, what's your Dragon Slash? That would make my move redundant. You're gonna feel it. You are not Good. And look at the uh, look at the charge at the bottom. The shock tower's back up in zero. Now, nice and simple. So you just put the shock tower down look out. and look just let it do itself. Damn it! All right. Ten minutes still to go. So that's took us no time at all. What's this took us? Eight minutes? Something similar? All right. That's not cool. Not cool. One minute on the shock tower. Go. <laughs> Spectre back on. There we go. Look, it does a lot of the work for you. It, it just takes the ground out of it. Yeah, only one more. Oh, one more after that. Okay, fair enough. Fair enough. Let's go. I like this group as well. Take it down. I feel like it's a group of three of us. <laughs> this is it. Good luck. All right, there it is. All right, here we go. Well, I'm not gonna beat the I'm not gonna beat the Jess for the uh, for the damage. She's already bossed it. Attack tech online. There we go, and a shock tower for good luck. Zap, zap, zap. 
All right, we've got 10 seconds left on that as well. Good. I like it when we uh, when we land in the thick of it. A bit of death never hurt anybody. Zone is clear. And there we go. Good work. Good. All encampments gone, and that is it. As quick as that, you can actually have it done. <laughs> you did it. I'm really keen to know what them combat scores were. That was just getting personal. I'm pretty. I'm 99 sure she battered me in it, but still, let's have a look. <laughs> oh wow. Oh wow. Okay, it was the double agent that got most of it by quite a long way. But then look, level 113. So whatever. But we did beat Jess. So it was still Shamrock Reclaimer. Just saying one nil. <laughs> All right, so let's look at the rewards we got, and I will I will talk you through the comparison that I did this morning. That only takes like a minute, so that's really quick. So here we go. Okay, so some level four loot then. That was like super fast. So we've got 11,000 schematic XP, 89 gold, Danger in the Mist. So we also got 100 reperk. That's going to be... Are you ready for the most <laughs> All right, let's just listen to Ray. I've got to hear this. How's that drummer coming along? Uh, a little too good. I went overboard on trying to get him to be the perfect Anthony replacement. Had him listen to all the albums, dressed in the clothes. I even had him read Anthony's autobiography of Abraham Lincoln. We tried to explain to him that you can't do that, but he wasn't having it. And I must have done a good job because he's wandered off into the desert too. Oh, nice. There's your next quest, I'm guessing. All right, let's carry on then. So let's have a look what else we got. So we also got 100 gold, and we got some V-Bucks, because we did hey, the dailies. I was thinking, if that drummer of yours thinks like Anthony, maybe he can lead us to Anthony. Let's go follow that robot. All right then, guys. So what we've also got on there then, so one thing I wanted to look at is the, uh, the comparison I did this morning. So one thing just to check on there. So I did one hour doing the encampments and then I did one hour also doing the four player missions as well. So this is what we got from doing one hour of encampments. I got 24,500 schematic XP, 644 gold. I got 372 road trip tickets, 321 reaper, 15,400 survivor XP. And then I also got 36 pure drops of rain, which I thought was quite good for one hour. Do you know, I got quite a few. Done. I think I got five done in one hour. You can sometimes do them quicker. Sometimes it might take longer. It just depends at what point you drop in on the mission. Then we also, I also did two four player missions in about the same amount of time that also took me about an hour now for that one i got 28,500 schematic xp 212 gold 194 road trip tickets 100 reperk 35,500 survivor xp and then 72 pure drops of rain now if you look at that it's quite a it's quite a contrasting comparison now if you're farming for reperk gold and for road trip tickets, then the encampments are definitely the way forward. Because look at this. This is the difference. So I've got 4,000 less uh, schematic XP doing the encampment missions. I also got 20,100 less survivor XP doing the encampment missions. And I got 36 less pure drops of rain. The thing is about the four player missions, you can actually target the ones that you want. Which means you can absolutely grind, you know, grind out the schematic XP, hero XP and survivor XP really, really quickly. So they're the things, and also pure drops of rain as well. If you're going to get times four, uh, times four pure drops of rain from a times four four player mission, then that's just un, you know that's no one can match that. That's just how it is. However, when it came to getting gold, and when it came to getting road trip tickets, and when it came to getting reperk, the encampments were much much faster. If you look on that, I got 432 extra gold in that hour than what I got by doing the two player missions. I also got 178 extra road trip tickets, and then I also got on there 321 reperk as well. Which to me says, if you're gonna farm for those three, then definitely go for the encampments and just farm the encampment missions. If you're gonna farm for, um, you know, if you're gonna farm for actual XP for something, then yeah, I would still stick to the four player missions. Some people were asking me as well about, you know, is it worth doing the uh, challenge the horde instead to get loads of gold that way? And you can get big gold that way, but you're still gonna get the gold faster by doing the encampments. If you just go through all the encampments really quick, 
then you'll get it better. The higher level the encampment, the better. What I actually did when I was doing the encampment, so I could have got more than that, I actually went down the encampments in Canyon Valley. So I started up at the top, which for me are the ones at like level 40 something. And then I worked my way down to like the level 70s and 80s, like late, later down in the mission once I got going a little bit. But guys, let me know what you think down below as well. I think this is a just, a, just a super quick way to actually farm everything. And it just means that you can actually get gold really quickly. Uh, like I said, in one hour. That means if I had done two hours, I would have got, you know, nearly 1,200 gold in that really, really easily. And that's not including all the little side missions that you get gold from as well which you're going to be picking up along the way so really 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 effective so guys i hope this has been helpful i've really enjoyed doing this video and i've you know you can probably tell now i feel much much better which means that i can put out much much better videos i think the one day gap yesterday actually really helped so massive thanks for all your patience yesterday and also for the comments that you made yesterday as well i did put a post up in the community tab and loads of you put like well wishes in there and things like that so a huge thank you for that and guys, if you're not part of the Latana army already, then make sure you hit that red button as you leave. And if you want to join the Discord, I'll put a link in every single video. It is down below. We might have to hold off on the Discord for a little while because it's just blowing up. We've got well over 3,000 members now. So I might have to curb that just while we find our feet a little bit. So get in now while you still can. And I will catch you guys on the next video. Massive thanks for watching this, guys.